Hey, welcome to this video. Uh, in this quick video, I just wanted to show you how to use uh, Quixel Bridge with Unreal Engine 5. When Unreal Engine 5 was announced today, one of the big kind of headline features with it was that Bridge was built directly into the editor. And it took me a while to find it at first and kind of figure out how it all worked. So to use it, um, once you're in Unreal Engine 5, I'm just in a default kind of project here, you can come up to content and then click Quixel Bridge. Uh, it'll want you to sign in probably down here, which you can do. And then if you go to kind of an asset, you can see I've downloaded a couple here. Here in this drop down, you can choose your quality. So you can get low, medium, high or nanite. So what you can do is you can go say you want the low quality version of this rock and then just drag it into your scene. Let it do its thing. There it is. If you want to now what you can also do is you can go down here and press the add once it's downloaded go to the medium quality uh, once that's downloaded you can hit add and then it should appear down here in your megascans assets it didn't work for me at first i think it's because i had um two editors open it must have got confused as to which one to send it to um, but the add button will add it to your current project or again you can just drag it into the scene now currently not everything is nanite enabled. Um, some of these larger cliff pieces are, um, but what you can do is you can go down to the drop down here and choose uh, nanite. So I've got this one already pre-downloaded in nanite quality. Um, and what you can do is if you select nanite from this um, drop down list, drag the mesh into the scene, let that load in, and there you go, you've got one of these new fancy nanite meshes uh, and we know this is a nanite mesh because one from that drop down but two if we go to um, up here to lit and then go to nanite visualization we can click uh, clusters and then here we can see all the different kind of clusters working in this nanite simulation uh, and the way that works is that the closer we get uh, and the way that works is you can see that the closer we get um, the smaller these clusters get and then the further away we are they kind of congeal into bigger and bigger clusters so there's less information for the system to draw uh, you can also go into the nanite visualization go to triangles and we can see that again but on a on a much smaller scale so we can see the individual tries and as we go out you can kind of see that effect of them uh, adapting based on how far away you are from the mesh that's just a quick overview on how to access Quixel Bridge and Nanite meshes within Quixel Bridge in Unreal Engine 5. I hope this video was useful. If it was, make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe to see more Unreal Engine 5 content, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.